What's going on? This is Alan Brown, aka Bully the Kid. And today I have a Glary GIB four string bass. This type of bass has been on the channel maybe twice in my history, but this is a different take on it. This is two volumes and three tones. Weird, right? I don't know. So we're gonna see what this is actually talking about and uh, get into how this plays in just a little bit. Kick the intro. I'm not gonna belabor you the details of all the specs of this bass. If you wanna check out what all this is talking about as far as specs go, go into the description because I am I am gonna have all that listed in the description. Uh, this finish is burly wood. It's more of a natural type of deal. Uh, it's a rosewood-ish fingerboard. Uh, but this does have three tones and two volumes. It also is coming out of the gate a little bit different than the last time it was on the channel. Uh, last two times. First time, I think it was uh, a five string with soap bars. And then the second time around was a six string. If I actually dropped that video, I can't really remember. And then now we're doing two humbuckers. So we're going to see what these are actually talking about. And I'm going to break this down into uh, this format right here. So I'm going to do one pickup solo, and then I'm going to turn up the first tone, turn down the first tone, do the second tone, turn it down, do the third tone. OK, and then I'm going to go one plus two. OK, and I'm going to go two plus three. I'm gonna go one and three, and then all of them. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the bridge pickup. Then I'll do the same thing for the uh, for both pickups. So this may be a little bit longer of a video, but you're gonna get all the tonal capabilities of what this thing can do. And uh, you're welcome ahead of time, assuming that I play well, but you're welcome ahead of time. So, um, yeah, I do have my wireless system. That's what this thing is here. And uh, this is a passive base. Uh, this is what the back side of it looks like. This is what the front side of it looks like. But more importantly, what does this thing actually sound like? Let's get into that right now. All right, so first thing is gonna be everything off. And then I'm gonna run it just like I said a few seconds ago. So I won't be talking. I may have a prompt on the side of the screen, maybe over there or something like that. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see how this goes. But uh, yeah, so everything off, just the front pickup. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
<laughs> All right, so so dig this. Certain bases make you play certain types of ways, right? Can I do what I just did on another base? Maybe, but that idea didn't come out until I played this base. And that could be good or bad, just depending on how you want to take it. Um, so let's let's get down to the brass tacks. What do I think about this base? I think that if I could have started with something like this, as odd as it is, uh, I this would be the great platform for me to mod it and make it a. Uh, active base like it's all it's screaming for it like the only time that you actually get some type of tonal control out of the bad boy is when you have all the knobs turned up that's when all the tone actually comes out and screams at you and that's for the front pickup and the back pickup and then both of them together like that's the sweet spot like both of them together with the tone all the way up everything full blast you just seen that, like I love slap. So like that was, that was very natural for me. And as I was going through that groove, I was figuring it out on the spot. Like what do I want this to do? What do I want this to be? Whenever you catch in time, how would you catch the time of the groove? So I, I like this for experimentation. This is cool, this is 24 frets. So I can mess around with chords and stuff in the dusty end of the bass, you know? You make all the money here and then you have all the honey here. Like this is, this area here is no man's land for a bass player, but you can drink, you know? <laughs> so, um, takeaways from this bad boy. Um, it's a little bit different with the wiring. Like I said, if you turn down any one of these tones that are here, you kind of lose it and stuff. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, but when you turn them all the way on, then the pickups themselves gets to be expressive. So in this platform, for this base, exactly how it is, uh, this will be a modding platform for me. That's what I would do with this base. Maybe um, uh, Seymour Duncan situation or probably Adair because Adair is just it's easy to drop in two solder joints boom 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 good to go run it put the battery in the in the pocket just tuck it in just tuck it in there it's fine you know and then uh, I think you can go EMG as well uh, and you don't really even have to like swap out this pickup the pickups actually sound good so um, I'm actually pretty impressed with the quality of this bass. And uh, for 109 bucks, it's really not bad. Especially if you, you're thinking about doing some mods and stuff like that. You buy a $109 bass and then you spend like 100 bucks on a preamp. You have a solid gigging bass for probably 200 bucks, 250 bucks at the very like the top end of it or whatever so maybe something for you to think about if you're in the market for experimenting on a base or anything like that so yeah take the review for what it's worth and till next time i've been alan brown aka bullet the kid y'all be easy